And as more older Americans get their vaccinations and are fully immunized, cases among younger generations are ticking up. That includes one Westminster mom who's now been in the ICU the past five days battling COVID. She thought after a year there was no chance she'd get coronavirus. She now has a warning for us all about letting down our guard. She spoke to Denver 7's Ivan Rodriguez. After going more than a year without being infected with COVID-19, Shane Green thought she was close to returning to a sense of normalcy. And I thought I was the, that one person who was so careful because I haven't been sick this entire time, and, and now I am. Speaking from her hospital bed in the ICU, Green says she started feeling sick at the end of March and tested positive for COVID-19 on the 31st. Last thing I was thinking I had was COVID. I thought it was just a cold. But it was the chills, the headaches, the fatigue was intense. But I think the worst was not being able to breathe. Now, two weeks after she felt her first symptoms, Green is still on oxygen, fighting COVID-19 and pneumonia alone. I miss my children so much. My family, they've been checking on me and they were able to bring me some things up here. And that's been really nice. It's been it's really lonely in here. Her loneliness is made worse as she worries about providing for her family. Green hasn't been paid since she tested positive. Now as counties loosen restrictions when the state's COVID-19 dial expires later this week, Shane is worried more families will be in her tough situation. It's very real, it's very serious. And I don't think restrictions should be lifted or taken lightly. On top of that, Colorado officials saying the state is seeing its fourth wave of the pandemic. For now, Green hopes she can get healthy in order to return to work and hug her children once again. Ivan Rodriguez, Denver 7.